Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and it's Friday, which means Netflix has dropped a cornucopia of content, one of which is a new anime series. And I should say it's not really new, but it's had an 11 year hiatus. Tiger and Bunny are back after 11 years with 13 brand new episodes. But is it as good as you remember? Have you seen the original 25 episodes? And have you seen these episodes? Do they compare? Are they as good as? These are all the questions we need to have answered. Let's jump in. With exciting new heroes gaining popularity and stardom, Tiger and Barnaby are called upon to set a good example. So the first thing I should say is, because it's been so long, one of the things I was worried about was the voice work. And having listened to the dubbing and the original, I'd say that the voice is as same, I think, most of the original characters, at least the main protagonist, Tiger and Bunny, are back uh, and the English and the original. So that is good. It feels like you're settling to the voices that you know best. Also, the style of it, even though it's fresher, they've kept it very much to how it was done in the original. Some of it looks a bit fresh, slightly different, but for the most part, 95% of the animation style, the way it looks, the way the characters, the design, they all remind me of the original 25 episodes. And if you've seen the first 25 episodes, then you'll know that it is very much similar to My Hero Academia. There are these groups of heroes that are sponsored. Each has a similar power. They are born called Next, and there are some Next that are bad and some that are heroes, and some protect the city with their sponsors. And that's been the crux of the story, where Tiger and Bunny, they've had this clash of relationship. One's an old veteran hero, one's a new series kind of serious hero and they clash throughout the 25 episodes of the first season they do the same here which was great for me because i just i, I wondered because time had passed whether they were going to make have made them suddenly their best friends they kind of are best friends but in a really kind of clashing of way they respect each other now they trust each other now all of that is evident from what we've had but now they're much more veteran. So this starts in 1980. I think the original with the time set was 1978. It's an alternate earth where heroes are around and they continue that. But we have a number of other heroes that are introduced to us, very similar footing, some of them as Tiger and Bunny. We also have some family dynamics uh, that come into play. Not all of that was uh, satisfied in the first 25 episodes. And so now we have... Um, season 2, 13 episodes, and I have to say, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this season. I was sceptical, I was worried. I think Netflix, um, because they've kind of, I guess that's the budget because it's classed as a Netflix original anime now, it looks great and I'm so glad they brought this back. I hope they do this for a few others. I mean, the voice work is great, the animation style is good, and the story is there. But the story isn't complete. For me, the arc really gets going for the last three episodes of the first 13. There is, however, another batch to come. We don't know quite when. We're hoping that it's going to be this year so they'll finish it up and who knows whether we'll get more. But for now, that it's kind of split in two. I'm guessing they'll call it season three. Um, but uh, the story isn't complete. I really like the, the, the dark path that this went down. It, it's... It does this thing throughout, well, the, the 25 episodes and these 13, where we concentrate on a couple of the other characters, we go into their background stories, we give a little bit of time to them, but then it starts going into those dark stories where the arc actually kicks into high gear, and they give you some time to get back into the world. And the story is always deeper than you think it is. We have the, the fluffiness, the banter between our characters, especially Tiger and Bunny, which is, again, rife and written really well, but then it gets dark and you wonder who's going to survive. I don't know if you remember way back um, watching episode 24 and if there wasn't a 25th episode <laughs> man the way 24 ended I thought oh my gosh are they actually gonna do that I felt that this way thankfully there's more to come I'm not gonna do any spoilers let me know your favorite character in the series in the new episodes apart from Tiger and Bunny and who is your favorite out of Tiger and Bunny uh, I like them both equally, but for different reasons. Just let me know your thoughts on the new episodes. I think they've done a fantastic job altogether. It's very entertaining. It's funny where it needs to be. It's quirky where it needs to be. The characters feel like they were from the original. The future is bright for this series. Thanks so much for watching. And I'm gonna give this four out of five Nicolas Cages. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.